At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back to News 46. A Nevada lawmaker who has been arrested twice and accused of threatening to harm his political, his political colleagues could be the first person in, Nevada, in Nevada's history to be kicked out of the legislature. A, a select committee plans to convene tomorrow night to recommend whether Democratic Assemblyman Stephen Brooks of Las Vegas should be allowed to return to his seat, be expelled, censored, or otherwise reprimanded. Now here's Angela Miles with today's first business brief. This is the first business brief for Monday, March 25th. I'm Angela Miles. A surprising new study from Bankrate.com shows when the payroll tax cut ended this year, it did not have a major effect on all consumers. Americans earning between $50,000 and $75,000 were more likely to cut back on spending compared to people making $50,000 or less. Car buyers are taking out longer loans. Research from J.D. Power & Associates shows a record 32% of car buyers took out 72-month long loans, which is 30% more than a year ago. The reasons? Interest rates are extremely low and car prices are on the rise. Barnes & Noble is giving away gadgets this week. The bookstore chain is offering free Nook Simple Touch e-readers to customers who buy the Nook HD tablet. The company may be doing the giveaway to push the product out the door. That's a First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. According to the U.S. Department of Labor Bureau Statistics, Nevada ranks number 10 in the nation for union memberships. The BLS reports that in 2012, the number of workers in Nevada belongs to a union was 162,000. Union members accounted for 14.7% of wage and salary workers in Nevada compared to 11.3% nationwide. About 200 members and supporters of the local branch of the National Association of Letter Carriers gathered Sunday in front of the main post office in Las Vegas to have their voices heard. The group believes that the Postmaster General's efforts to end Saturday delivery could cost jobs. The postal carriers say that they estimate that they have the right now that is discontinuing Saturday service will eliminate between 30,000 and 40,000 jobs nationwide and probably between 200 and 250 jobs there in Las Vegas. The original plan was to end Saturday delivery by August, but the recent budget agreements keep Saturday delivery secure at least through the end of September. Well, an Easter egg hunt and picnic will be held this upcoming weekend in Petrick Park. We're putting on the community family picnic in Petrick Park on Saturday, March the 30th. It's a a uh, free event for the whole community, so come on down. It's in the back shack on uh, baseball field number three, right? Yes, it is, and we'll have food in the food shack. What's going to be served that day? We're going to serve hot dogs, hamburgers, there'll be potato chips and ice cream, and drinks will be served out by the pool. This is immediately following the egg hunt. Yes, it is. You have to be there at 9 o'clock sharp for the egg hunt. Actually, they were closing a little bit earlier because it really does start at 9. It just ends just a few minutes after. Exactly, yeah. It, it only takes a few minutes when you see all the kids running all over the fields and picking up all the eggs. It's done real quick. And so this holiday task force, who do we have to thank for all the food that's being donated? The food is all donated from the community, different businesses and companies in the community. Tell the times again. Um, Easter egg hunt, yes, be there before 9 o'clock. It starts sharp at 9 o'clock. The activities start at 10 o'clock and the cook shack will be open at 11 o'clock till 1 o'clock. Stay right here for weather with Ian B. Clark right after these messages. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. 
News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Last week is a lot colder towards the latter end, but this week it's going to be a lot different. So today we have mostly cloudy skies, 75 there for your high. Winds coming out of the south at 5, gusts at 12. Our pressure falling from 30.03. That's actually going to rise in the future. Just see, look at those temperatures. UV index at 6, humidity 15%, sunrise 6, 40 a.m. And the record high, 87 degrees in 1981. Tonight we're going to have cloudy skies, 52 there for your low. Winds coming out of the south at 6, gusts at 10, low humidity 20%, sunset 7 o'clock sharp, and the record low 31 degrees in 1964. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies, 80 there for your high, so it's going to get warmer, low 50. Winds, it's going to be slightly windy tomorrow, coming out of the south-southwest at 9, gusts at 14, 16% humidity, sunrise 6, 38 a.m., and UV index at 6. Afterwards, it looks like we have pretty stable temperatures there. So our highs are pretty much going to stay in that upper 70s range, lower 80s, which is warmer than our seasonal average, which should be around the low 70s. And then our lows are going to stay in what they should be, that 50 degree range. And then coming up, actually this Sunday we have Easter, and then Monday is actually going to be the 1st of April, so April Fool's Day. Well, Nathan Adelson Hospice Fundraising Committee to build a clinic here in Pahrump will be meeting this Wednesday, March 27th at 6 p.m. in the Desert View Hospital Conference Room. The event is open to the public. For more information, call Sharon Callahan at 727-5882. Liberty Tax Service will reward volunteers who work with nonprofit groups and charities by offering them free tax preparation the week of March 25th through March 30th at participating locations. All individuals who work with scouting and youth organizations, health nonprofits, food banks, and other charities are eligible for complimentary tax preparation at Liberty Tax Offices if they are first time customers. For more information, call 727 9969. And that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Glenn Evers. And I'm Monique Mitchell. And from all of us here at Channel 46, we wish you a great night, and we hope to see you here tomorrow. Good night. Good night.